What's up Dapper Squad, it's your boy Darius, back at it again with Kuroko No Basket, episodes 5 and 6, last episode with a crazy buzzer beater, alley-oop, teamwork, comeback, literally all those in one, we were able to beat Kaijo um, in a practice match, 98 to 100, so that was an insane turnout, excited to see where this, the rest of this season, and where the training, and where we, got all, all that, the plot and the story of this, I'm very, very, very excited for. Remember, if you guys want early access or full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching, up to four episodes, check out that Patreon. Links are down in the description down below, like always. You can also watch it live and early with me, uncut, over on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Darius. Don't forget to check out the other social medias, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, all at Dapper Darius. Much appreciated, y'all. Let's hop right on into this. Kuroko no Basket, episode five and six. The first one was called Your Basketball. Let's do this. I got I to gotta give a huge shout out to the second years for them stepping up when they needed to, taking the offense role from out of Kagami Taiga's responsibility. I respect them. Shouts out to them being good ass leaders. This is the first time in his life he's really lost like that and he's crying. He's never experienced these sort of emotions. I got something else to fight for now. That vengeance is a huge buildup, you know? Getting that revenge is going to be nice when we go against each other. <laughs> Look at their coach. Okay, I'll see you guys there. <laughs> Versus our Rico. I don't want to confess my love butt naked. So yeah, we got to win. <laughs> we got to do it. Make it to nationals. All right, horoscope astrology, man. This was a man who was Midori Machi. Midori Machi. So this guy is very predeterminism, pre fate, God, astrology. Everything is set in stone. This, I don't know. Number one shooter. He's the Ray Allen of the Generation of Miracles. Good, at least you acknowledge and respect it. They differ in certain certain aspects, you know. Hmm. Hmm, so we're just getting a little tease for him. <laughs> we'll see him soon, I'm I'm assuming. The big thing to tell someone that vengeance is huge. I just watched Batman the other day. I wonder what Kuroko's thinking. I wonder what's going on in his head. Besides the blood and all that. So I'm assuming no major injuries. Got the clear to go. No concussions. No long-term damage. We are good to go. Let's go. And they did. This is definitely cause for some celebration. Maybe uh, Taiga, Kuroko, go back to that burger spot. Get some more burgers, you know. Let's get something to eat on the way home. What are we doing? Something cheap, I'm broke. I feel you, man. <laughs> free steak? What do we need to do to get that free steak? Talk about a sizzle with the steak butter on top. Eat it in 30 minutes or less. Those who fail must pay. Turning everything into an exercise. <laughs> it's steak delicious. <laughs> that is hilarious. That shit is steak delicious. That's 10,000 yen you have to pay. <laughs> Come on, you gotta eat up, Kuroko. No one's gonna be able to do it. Oh. Is my man. My man, Taiga? Yup. That man eats like a caloric intake of like 7,000. Sure, I guess. Depends on if you're gonna ask me to join you again. Yeah, Kisei's having a... <laughs> he's kind of having a bad day. That is a good question to ask. 
Why did you disappear? Right after the championship game, too? Oh, there's going to be some backstory. Some Oh, I need that, man. Oh, that's where he began to question their policies. They all had the individual talents, but was it that teamwork he was looking at? That cohesiveness? See, that's some that's some mentality, you know? I don't want to pause it, but let me know in the comments what your guys' true definition or what you guys try to take out of a competition. Whether it be esports, whether it be sports, whether it be board games like Sorry. You guys go for one, bettering yourself only to make sure by the beginning of the game and the end of the game, you've improved somewhat. Two, you always go for the win, no matter the sacrifice. Or three, you always go to have fun, no matter what that may, you know, whether you lose, whether you have, you know, you win, this, that, and the other. Do you guys go, what, what do you guys go for with, with wins or with competition? I, I like to think I mainly go for a win, but there are definitely times where I value the having fun a little bit more, bettering myself. It's interesting. Yeah, that's a, that's a huge thing, the, the passion of the game itself, you know? And he started feeling those things again when he met my boy. No one calls him Taiga. So I guess I gotta start calling him Kagami. And it it makes more sense because Taiga's from uh, Torador anyway. So I'll start calling him Kagami. Alright. We'll have a falling out. We'll part ways. I love seeing a little teaser of them. They look so badass. Really? Oh, but wait till we have some training arcs. Wait till we have some development, you know? That's pretty accurate. That is pretty accurate. I mean, we can't assume something like that, but I get where he's coming from. Like, that really can change a person in the way they act towards their team and stuff like that. Seek <laughs> of the devil. Yeah, let's do it. Sure. What, three versus four? Three versus five? How many you guys have, though? Three versus five? That's not fair. Okay. Okay, way to take it in. Good shot. Good shit, boys. Wow. The plane, the plane clothes boys are doing... Oh, okay. That was a foul. There's so many anime thugs, assholes like this. Come on. Ooh, I love how he singed the ball on his nose. <laughs> Come on. And they didn't even notice he left. Kuroko is typical. Way to stand up for the, for the little guy. I love you. Yep. And you got us two with him. <laughs> now these three could legit 3v5 the rest of them. <laughs> Ooh, the immediate steal over to Kagami over to Kisei with the shot so fast. Oh, they're so nasty. Good pass. Easy. The pass. Bro, I tell you, Kisei and Kagami have such clean but unique offensive styles. And with Kuroko being just like that support middleman, get, get the ball wherever it needs to go. I honestly make a nasty three man team. <laughs> I love how I did it all slow. Look at these guns. Hmm. This is why Kuroko's the goat. Technically, we did. A little reunion we had. We haven't played together in years. Or at least since middle school. I don't know how many years. We're first year, so. A year. He does Midoro Michi, Kuroko, Kurokachi, you know, it's kind of cute, actually. So we got the preliminaries, then we got the inter highs, and then we go to nationals, something like that. You'll always stand by the light because you're a shadow. Oh, that's your basketball, the title of this episode. I kind of got goosebumps right there, I can't lie. With Kagami being the actual silhouette of light. <laughs> shouts out Kuroko, shouts out Kagami. 
She wasn't lying. Oh. Oh my God. Rico, stop. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Even he's not getting involved with that. Oh my God. My back. <laughs> All right, on to episode six. This one is called, let me tell you two things. I wonder what two things those are going to be. Got a little recap still. <laughs> this man is daydreaming. <laughs> this, this guy is... This is so much like Haikyuu with the uh, principal's toupee or whatever. Always got to be some faculty employee who has no hair, you know? Because they can't notice him. Can't see him. That is hilarious. Go buy some bread. I like bread. What kind of bread are we talking about? Why do we have caviar and pork katsu, it looks like? With caviar, foie gras, and truffles? Easy as pie, easy as bread. Yeah, lunchtime clutch. I'm not doing that. Imagine being those employees. I would be able to be like, get the fuck out. I'd start throwing them in the crowd. Get Don't die. <laughs> what? This is high school. Do you see the way those brawling fucking men were just sitting there? I need me a sandwich. This is Japanese lunchtime rush. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've heard stories of that. I've heard stories of that. Zane, fight. We gotta go in as a squad. Come on, boy. Oh. Never give up. Oh, my God. I've never seen crowd surfing taken to this level. <laughs> Look at this POV shot. You gotta make the wave go forward. Oh. I can't stop laughing. That does, it's rare that that happens, but sometimes that does happen. You're in a huge crowd like that and somehow it just fucking flows you to the front. You're like, what? I don't know how pork cutlets, foie gras, truffles, and caviar is gonna taste. I'm sure the bread is gonna be fantastic. It just seems like a little too much for me. It better be like fantastic. Oh. That's the thing. It's either going to be incredibly delicious or incredibly ass. A harmony of flavors? All right. Maybe I need a sandwich. Well, damn. Talk about what felt like a little Kaguya, little side filler, little quest episode. I love that. That was hilarious. The single loss Elim? There's no like, oh my God. Yeah, this is a bracket bracket. Oh my God. Are we talking, what is this, 64 teams? This, is, this might be a 60 to 64 team bracket. This is insane into the it's a whole separate league only the chosen one percent they set that they, they set that up kind of well i'm kind of hyped mm, i like that that is a kagami answer right there shutoku shutoku high they were a nation's top eight of course they got midori midorima Jesus. Yeah, let's not talk about the championship when we might not even make it out of first round. Who are we going against first round? One of our players might give us trouble. Oh, yep. Give us the deets. Come on, girly. Senegal, my brother. Now, as someone who has seen high Q, I know two meters is fucking ginormous. Oh, his reach is insane. Everything, I don't know about that, but <laughs> only a middle tier last year. But the, with the addition of a single foreign player, okay, okay. 
This is one thing I loved about Haikyuu that I'm assuming I'm going to love about this show as well. And I don't know how accurate it is to real life because I am not super athletic. But in Haikyuu, there was a lot of individual players with very unique special talents that were very hard to deal with as a team who's somewhat inexperienced like we were. Um, so I'm assuming, not that we're inexperienced as our um, Seirin basketball team or that he's going to be extremely difficult to deal with, but dealing with length, dealing with reachability, dealing with this, that, and the other versus dealing with like Midorima, who is just a straight nasty shooter, are going to be way two different play styles and strategies on how to handle this. So I'm very curious, especially seeing so being surprised how much strategy, I'm not doing air quotes in a bad way, I'm, I'm genuinely was surprised at how much strategy goes into volleyball. I'm hoping to be genuinely shocked how much strategy goes into basketball as well. So I am super excited. Oh, okay. May 16th is when they start. The, the OST, the soundtrack of this show, is phenomenal. Got a little training art going on right now. Got the drills. Oh, okay, crab walk. You got the uh, schoolwork. Long sprints. Oh, we're already on the 12th? This is really a training montage. We're not hesitating at all. This is episode 6. We're already getting into the... The pre-inter highs? The gang's all here. My boy Kagami's eyes are bloodshot, and my man looks like he is about to die. Oh, this dude is tall. Okay, or we're just better than you thought. Even he knows about the generation mirror. Oh, okay. We'll see about that, good sir. We have one of them on our team. So we'll see about that, good sir. <laughs> I'm dead. There's no way this man just picked him up like that. Good. I love how emotionless he is, but I, I like that. Shouts out my boy Kuroko. Stop calling him fucking dad. It's so funny. I don't think anyone's getting tip off but Papa. That man is just... That's one of... Yeah. There's no way. Oh, and he's got a shot? I don't know how unknowledgeable I am about basketball, but in my experience, the tall people who are really good at being in the paint and can dunk all that are not the best shooters. Maybe I'm wrong about that, but shouts out Papa Umbaye. That's so, like, how, like, what do you do? The rebounds, the blocking, there's so many aspects <laughs> that he's just going to be excelling at. Yeah, come on. Ooh, <laughs> we didn't have to. Oh, I love that shot right there. That, we didn't have to invite them. They came to us. That was badass as hell. I'm surprised we're getting gameplay. I thought they were going to stop this episode before the game even started. Just like give us like, you know, a little tease. But no, we're getting into it. Hell yeah. And they're nearest each other's heights, you know? See, this is exactly what I was talking about. This is exactly what I wanted to do. I wanted to learn. Don't let him do what he wants. Yeah, like me personally, I'm only a right side driver. Like I can only go to the right side because I'm so inexperienced, you know? So if you hold him like that and you stay on his right side, force him to go left or shoot in a position he's uncomfortable with, oh yeah, he's going to be missing so much. That's actually hella smart. Who was saying that? The commentator? This foreigner sucks. Oh yeah, that's a lot of work. Let me tell you two things. Title this episode. Okay, I like it. Declaration of War. And then what's the second thing? Oh, they didn't even notice Kuroko right in front of him. I was like, is he really passing it right to him? What's going to happen? This kid might give you some trouble. Come on, Kuroko's a goat. I love how I literally didn't even notice him. Like, he didn't notice him. I didn't. Oh, that was clean. All right. Well, holy smokes. I don't know how I could even get any more into the show than I really already am. Because one... The animation, OST, the characters, the 
I, I don't want to say the fillerness, but what am I trying to say? The the time that this show has to let these characters breathe and really develop their motivations, why they're doing the things they're doing, and not only the like that plus their like their physical and their mental skills are both getting like due time to improve on, which I thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy. But it's such an oxymoron because the show feels to me like it gives time for the characters and the motivations to breathe, which I love. But the pacing is also insane. We're six episodes in. We have our team. We've already beat one of the generations of miracles. Met another. Already are playing our first match of the first tournament with an opponent that like, like the pacing is goddamn insane in this show. Shouts out Kuroko, no basket, but oh, I am very excited. I love the teamwork between Kagami and Kuroko. How we have our own training regiment. Like I said earlier, I love how we're gonna be able to deal with individual threats, whether it be like an Allen Iverson insanely insanely small but fast like with handles whether it be a ray allen like shooter whether it be someone insanely insanely tall like yao ming i don't i'm just naming the basketball players i know guys i'm not the most knowledgeable but i'm just i just love that aspect how not only is it such a physical sport such a mental sport but it has to do with a lot like a, it's a strategic sport as well like you know that's the root of these competitions and i and i thoroughly thoroughly enjoy it and I'm very excited to see Kisei again, to see Midorima, to see a lot of them. Um, hopefully, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe and to click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Check out that Patreon and Twitch for early access, full length, all that jazz. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace.